Sometimes all I think about is getting out, spending all my time alone, trying to forget about how I'll make it out. Seems like all the boys are hanging out at home. Cause there ain't no doubt when the boys reach out and call me on. have to wait, won't ever hesitate, for I'm getting in the zone. I'm getting back to the place where I belong. A little more of the call out. Just screaming at Curse, you got him, you got him. And as soon as he said, yep, <laughs> I'll let it ring. So. A lot of luck, a strut and a cluck, but that's a good story. I'm sitting out here in the middle of God's country And I can't believe that he's made it all for me I know <laughs> In the middle of all my fun I'm soaking up the sun <laughs> Waiting for a chance to shoot my gun Now the story's done been told Even though it's getting old It takes me back to the place where I belong I'm getting back to the place where I belong A little more of the call outdoors Won't you come along Yeah, turkey party A lot of love A struggle It's beautiful That's a good story Holy cow <laughs> That works out beautiful And even though it's getting old It takes me back To the place where I belong Let's go Let's go, baby! Yes! Yes! Down to, down to arrows for stakes. Tracy's got my stake. Might be more than one bird. Got this big lawn right here. So he's gonna be right on top of us before we ever see him. I know. That bird. 
See him? They're coming this way. That hen's leading out in the field.
We had to do what we had to do, boys, right there. Did he see me? He must have. I, I, don't, I mean, he was close. <laughs> he was real close. <laughs> I know we didn't get him on film, but... No, I might have had him. Just then? Yeah. Yeah, I put the camera up. I, I oh. didn't like see him see him, but I think the <sighs> camera probably got him. Oh. But I had him the whole time walking right up this road at 10 yards, gobbling. Oh my god. He's a big bird, man. He's got a rope on him. <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm telling you what. We have worked hard. Yesterday I missed one. Couldn't stink and believe it. This bird comes up at point blank range. I mean point blank. Sees the camera and I'm behind a log so he doesn't see me but sees the camera and just we had to do what we had to do right then. Yeah. I mean this is getting to the end of the season here boys. It took him for he saw those decoys forever. He forever. saw them half an hour ago. I think those hens coming closer he didn't yeah, like it. He did he did not like it and finally he committed and well it's the end of the story <laughs> right there it's the end of the story and i did not miss today oh, look at that pennsylvania longbeard i've called a ton of birds in this year for different people i've filmed a bunch i've carried the gun about two days here in pa and it's the last week of the season and I just put down a nice one. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to be out here. Good friends, Phil Fellman, and uh, just had a, an awesome hunt this morning. Just an awesome hunt. Uh, man, I couldn't be happier. I mean, this bird laid posed up for us. I mean, he's right here ready to, ready to pose up. Man, look at the beauty of these things. Man, he gobbled right on top of us. Yeah, he did. He didn't come down the roadway. He came down the grass. Yeah, he was coming in the woods like Yeah, he came. Right I was us. expecting him to come like down this roadway and he cut and he's coming like right next to us. I think he wanted to get the high ground right here to see those decoys. And boy, he came he came tight. I saw him I was looking under that log and and I saw his body position way out here by this tree. I saw like he's coming. He changed his body position. He he gave a little yeah. that bigger shoulders and I was like, oh boy. It's on. Man, did he gobble this morning. Yeah, he did. He tore he gobbled right on top of He us. tore the woods up. But once he hit the ground, how many times he's gobbled? Twice? Um, well, he gobbled out there quite a bit, but once he got with the hens... Yeah, he didn't gobble... Hardly at all. Mm -mm. Uh, he bred a hen right here in between us and that tree. I know you couldn't have got him on film because you were down at the time, but I was looking, I'm like, holy cow, he's breeding a hen right here. Hey, look at it like that. <laughs> that crawled up your pant leg. Hey. That was about a five footer right there. Pretty big snake. All right, guys, it is the 27th of May, and uh, our season is starting to wind down. But we're going to finish out strong here. We're headed north, uh, it's around the Syracuse area. York. I'm gonna meet up with Curtis, my brother. They're in the other truck. They're gonna meet us up there in a couple of hours. We're heading to Pastor Kenyon's to finish out the end of the end of the season. So we'll be up here for the next uh, until Sunday. So we're excited about it. Been a been a weird season uh, this year with the COVID-19 stuff. And I'm praying everyone stays healthy still through all of it, but. Uh, Cut down on a lot of travel and all that kind of stuff. We had a rough first week this year, a lot of misses, uh, but we've managed to knock some birds down and uh, 
but we still got some tags left to go here. I've got a tag here in New York. Phil will have a tag, and Tracy still has a tag. So we're looking to try and uh, have some redemption on a couple birds that gave us a run around here when we were up on this way a couple weeks ago. So stay tuned, man. Hopefully we're gonna have some action. We're gonna have some rain in the next couple days a little bit. So it'll be off and on, but not a washout. So stay tuned, man. Love the terrain out here, uh, open country, and uh, all the big hills, and all the leaves are popped out, so it's now it's green out here, so gotta love it, so stay tuned. Stay tuned, boys. Oh, she comes right. Five yards. Five yards right there. 
I, I didn't dare look. <laughs> She's trying to look out of the corner of your eye. Yeah, I thought for a second when she came right here, I was gonna cluck at her and she was maybe gonna pitch up on top of this log and look for us. That was gonna be, I was like, if she does that, I'm gonna try and catch her. <laughs> she was close. She was right there. 